Adjuster TV is brought to you by Adjuster TV Plus. I'll just kind of walk you through an actual from pull up to pull away um, of a claim. Now, we'll say this. Um, a lot of people are thinking, well, there's no there's no issue with going back to the hotel and writing my estimate or going back to the hotel RV, finishing my estimate, calling them later. Well, that's fine, but you have to do it later. And right. for whatever reason, a homeowner believes that they can't really go forward with repairs to their house or getting contractors lined up. They think everything is on hold until they get your estimate. Now, we know that that's not true because it's their house. They have to do what they need to do to their house. But in their minds, they want that estimate before they start making decisions. And so the longer they have to wait for that estimate, the more upset, the more anxious they get. So yeah. my preference, and if I owned a insurance company, it would be settle on site. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to pull up. I usually get my tool belt on. I get my ladder out and I walk up the sidewalk. If the contractor's there, I'll say, hey, what's going on? I'll be with you in just a second. I'll set my ladder down beside the sidewalk. I'll go up and knock on the door to, hey, my name's Andy. We talked on the phone. I'm here to inspect the property. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the uh, elevations. I'm going to get on the roof, take a look at that. I'll look at everything that's uh, damaged. And then I'll come back and we'll talk about it. Is there something specific that you want me to look at or something that you've noticed that I need to take a look at specifically? I'm like, no, no, uh, this guy came by and said I had hail damage. Okay, cool. Well, let me, give me about uh, 45 minutes, 30 minutes, and I'll come back and let you know what I find. Okay, cool. So then if the contractor's there, I'll tell him the same thing. Hey, you can walk with me if you want. I'm, I'm never mean to the contractor because they're just trying to do a job just like me. And I yeah. said, hey, you're more than welcome to hang, a, hang, a, hang out with me. I said, if I don't talk a lot, don't take it personal. I said, i am just got a one-track mind, and so if I start talking to you, I'm going to forget stuff. And so the bigger my estimate, the more money you make. I just kind of make a joke out of it. And so there's like, okay, cool, we'll just hang back and watch you. So anyway, I, I start on the front. I, I have a process, front, right, rear, left. And so I walk around the house, have my scope sheet, and I'm writing my scope sheets. Now, State Farm has you do a scope sheet, and then you're going to either take a picture of that at the end of the inspection, or you're going to upload it at some point to the claim, the actual notes that you took. So after that, I kind of, and you know this, Matt, after you look at the elevations, you can kind of tell if there's going to be any damage on the roof because if the gutters sure. and screens are blasted, you think, okay, cool, there's a good chance there's going to be some good hail up here. Now, if you don't see anything on the gutters or the elevations, you're thinking, okay, me and the contractor may not have a pleasant conversation. Depends on how they take the news. So anyway, then I grab my ladder, set it up on the house, and I always try to put my ladder, um, because sometimes your ladder moves a little bit and it scratches the gutter. So I either have a gutter, I think it's called a ladder guard or gutter guard. It's a plastic piece that you snap in the gutter. I take that with me. But I'll, anyway, I'll set my ladder up off to the side of the house or the back of the house. That way, if I do scratch the gutter, not seeing it every time they pull up. So I'll get on the roof and I do the same thing, front, right, rear, left. And then I'll make all my notes. I'll get down, tell the contractor what I found. Um, then I'll go up to the homeowner. It's like, hey, this is what I found. Um, is there anything specific that you think I might've missed? No, it sounds real good. Say, okay, well, let me jump in the van and give me about 35 minutes or so, and I'll get this estimate printed, and then I'll come back. We'll go over the numbers with you, and then we'll we'll get a check out to you. Now, State Farm doesn't use doesn't like to hand paper checks to people nowadays. They want to do digital pay or direct deposit, which is fine, sure, because it gets their money a lot quicker. So anyway, I'll jump in the van, and I'm now that process right there on a typical hailstorm, you can finish that in about 15 or 20 minutes. That initial inspection of inspecting a house now if it's a huge house like in dallas um, and it's two-story it's going to take you longer especially if it's cut up um, but anyway you're going to jump back in the van or the truck and i'm going to write my estimate and on a typical hailstorm, especially if you have some macros you can write that estimate probably in about five to ten minutes max coming up on adjuster tv 